I'm Benton Whitley. Uh, I'm a senior biology major and I'm on the football team. Going into my sophomore year, I did a sales internship at Northwestern Mutual where I sold insurance, life insurance, different term policies, and that was a great experience. From that, networking a lot with a lot of the Holy Cross alumni, what they always said was it doesn't necessarily matter what the internship experience is, you just want experience on your resume. At that time, I was just taking really whatever experience and internship experience I could get. That was a program that was in place when I got here. It's called the 90 Wide, and the 90 Wide uh, represents the 90 young men on our football team, and they are worldwide, uh, and their connections are worldwide. So the, the program that's in place is you know, pretty special. There's stages to it from as a freshman, as a sophomore, junior, and eventually as a senior. And the objective is to make sure that when these guys leave here, really ideally before their senior year of college, they have jobs. They're all lined up with jobs and you know they could concentrate on that senior year of football and not have to worry about their future because that's sort of been taken care of for them. I worked out of the Springfield office, which is actually where I'm from, about an hour west. And we'd meet every Monday as a team and our actual sales rep, he would oversee, see how many dials we got, which is how many people you contact to try to sell insurance to, how many sheets they filled out, and obviously how many sales you got. And throughout the week, we kind of work on our own. In the sales world, in general, it's really competitive, and just make sure you go get what you want. And so being an athlete here and being an athlete all my life really helped me. Throughout my experience at Holy Cross, uh, I've had a lot of great biology professors, and one of my great biology professors was Ann Sheehy worked in her lab from June all the way to the beginning of August before camp started. I had a summer project in the HIV lab. What I was studying was alpha helix region of protein called avbeg 3 g And so I'd go into the lab and typically try to clone EG10, which is a insert of the vector avbeg 3 g And so I'd go into the lab, I'd clone, wait for cloning to finish, typically come back, check on my colonies. If I didn't get colonies, I'd do it again. And then it would just be a repetitive process. It was a really useful experience learning how actual things actually work in the lab. Start my projects, I record everything that I did. So typically I'd be either cloning, making liquid culture, or I would be plating my clones to see if I got colonies. And if I did get colonies, then I'd be able to move on to cloning other DNA. And so I did that. The most challenging part was probably just getting started because getting started, you're not used to doing a lot of the procedures like uh, running a gel or plating, making liquid cultures, doing things like that. A lot of the procedures in, in the lab, like a lot of other people in the lab that have been doing them are used to doing them. And so you kind of need to get in the flow. And once you get in the flow, it's like not really that difficult. Really applying my knowledge that I've learned in the classroom to real world situations and real world viruses. I feel like that is gonna be really applicable when I'm going for a job interview, being able to really talk about a project I did. And so I've, I really enjoyed that. As regards to him studying something like biology, uh, it just goes to the analytical end of him. He, uh, he approaches the game like that. He, uh, he approaches practice like that. He approaches our calls like that. He wants to know the why. He wants to know how things work. And so it's not a surprise that biology would be something that he would not only be good at, but he'd be quite interested in. I feel like it's very useful nowadays to really learn about like what's going on inside our bodies because I've always thought it was crazy that a lot of people know everything about the outside world, but not a lot of people know what goes on inside your own body. So I always felt like that was really important. In the future, what I want to do is I want to go back into research and kind of pay my dues, so to speak, and work under somebody who has their own private research and eventually go back to grad school and actually get my PhD in microbiology, possibly cancer research. And so after that, I'd want to get my own private research so I can incentivize it and maybe make it into a business. The things that he does are far beyond anything that I understand, but it's, I think, pretty exciting for him. He's a pretty passionate, you know, young man that gets driven by a lot of different things, and I really like to watch, you know, him, you know, play all that out. We get to see it on the football field, but the things he does on a day-to-day -day basis off the field are pretty, just as impressive.